Of course. Who else would come? So my untraceable engine only bought time. That's fair. I'm Stark. I've gained so much from your senator. I'm here to destroy you, and I don't mean to fail. I do exist on a whim, just not yours. Father, get up! We came to save you! He's not there. He didn't take my questions well. I learned a lot about an Eshkar horde in a prison. The first son will want that. I've been hoping to encounter another child of the Emperor. No, I'm... I was allowed this memory. I was once a great Sith. But I looked into the abyss. I followed the children. And the first son found out. The scalpel and bright lights took my name. Now I serve as Stark. Stop it! Stop talking! You hurt my father. You don't deserve to live. I can't risk him reporting back to the first son. Interfering in my duties is rude. If I kill you, I might earn my name back. No, it's okay. Father? Father, I can heal you. See? My powers can, can save you. No, not now! Come on! Father, don't leave me! Enough. He's beyond our help. This is a bad dream. Or a test? Some Jedi test? Everything's a test. You! You did this! Something like you shouldn't outlive my father! If you want him dead, I won't stop you. I was curious. Is that so bad? It's over. My duty's done. See, Father? I'll be strong for you. Our family, our world. I promise. Would you help me? We can't leave him in this place. We have convened to offer the condolences of the Jedi Order on the passing of Senator Tobus Grau. Nadia, your father was a great ally. We hope you'll continue his noble efforts to guide your people into the Republic. I will, and everyone back home should respect me as a successor. You still have remarkable respect for your people's customs, despite your travels. There is another matter. Senator Grell's will was left in our care, and one portion concerns both of you. To the Institute of Xenozoology, if they can display it. But finally, my most important concern... My dear Nadia, she is so gifted. These children of the Emperor are both gifted and trained. Therefore, I ask Nadia be accepted for a Padawan's training, and taught by the Barsamthor of the Jedi Order. We've had time to discuss it, and we consent for Nadia to become your Padawan. It should be a joint decision. Of course! I, I mean, thank you for the honor. Nadia. A Padawan begins with a vow to honor her master and the Jedi Code. Oh, then I, am um, promise to follow the Jedi Code and respect my master and listen to her lessons. I believe you have a great future in our order. This is everything Father wanted. He'd be so happy. This proves what the Blasted Empire is capable of. The Ashka won't be enough. We need more. Something... extraordinary. Dude, every crazy spacer has a story about Voss and those mystics. You want to fight the Empire with legends? Don't dismiss him out of hand. Maybe he's onto something. Rumor says Voss is home to force sensitives called mystics, who can heal any injury and see the future counter any plan. 
It's got to be exaggerated. But if there's any truth to it, these mystics might swing a Republic victory. Untrained Force sensitives are dangerously unpredictable. These mystics could join the enemy. Yes. The Council has seen that pattern before. Come now, Sio. You don't need a Jedi to teach you right from wrong. If you truly believe you must go to Vos, be wary. Those mystics may use the Force, but they don't know our ways. Good luck. Senator Grell's death should not be in vain.